memorable part of the weekend for you, and how excited are you about playing in your hometown next year? Of <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a it was an amazing environment. Obviously, with the new format, um, having guys mix the match from the same com from different conferences, same conference, whatever the case is. And, uh, I think we tried to set the tone early, playing a little bit of defense, uh, creating that competitive environment that was a great kind of change uh, in tone just from for the fans uh, in, the, in the stadium and. Watching on TV, I think we accomplished that uh, all the way down to the finish. So, very competitive game. Um, I think we did it the right way. Showcase our talents and our skills and put on the show. So that was that was fun. Um, the game itself is always the highlight for me. It's also weekends crazy, chaotic schedule. So much you can do, experience and whatnot. But when you get to Sunday, that's what it's all about. And we appreciate that environment out there on the floor. Uh, and I tried my best to answer all three, and I forgot the third question. Uh, How much are you looking forward to playing? Oh, yeah, it, it's be great. Uh, obviously, um, you know, finally getting you know, the game there for the first time in a while, so it'll be uh, it'll be kind of crazy for the Curry family, but uh, it'll be it'll be a really cool experience to go home and enjoy you know breaking the NBA and, and celebrate the game of basketball and what the NBA is about in Charlotte. Thanks for that. Yeah, uh, Steph, right here, right here. Uh, Cameron Buford, LA News Observer. How you doing? Doing great. Doing great. Um, talk to me about the, your draft order. Uh, what went into your decision and, and who you picked? And then also, uh, do you expect any um, to hear about KD talking about the defense of late in the game in the locker room? Uh, it was I'll try to just put together the best team. And, um, as as the draft kind of went uh, unfolded, you start to game plan around their positions and uh, for me I try to get the best shooting uh, and, and that was kind of the strategy for, for, for my whole and uh, it, it was it was kind of cool to see all the teams just come together or both teams come together as me and Brown were picking so that'll be a I think the, that part of the, that you know vibe of the format and having two guys select you know from your peers will be a, a fun show as, as, as it unfolds year after year. And uh, yeah, KD and Brian, they, they double teamed me hard and pushed me to the to the sideline. Um, two you know, tall giants out there trying to you know, not let me shoot and try to make a play and it just didn't work out. So that was kind of a, a tough way for our, our team to end the game, but I think it was a great show for the fans. Are you looking to be captain again next year? For sure. I, I enjoy the process. I enjoy leading the team. I enjoy uh, taking ownership of that. And, and, uh, and hopefully uh, I get another opportunity to do so. Marcus Pacquiao. Marcus Thompson, the athletic. You know, Steph, you uh, you know, you st struggled with your shot a little bit, then you started finding it. It's been kind of up and down for you in your all-star career. What's different about shooting for you in an all-star game? Uh, I don't know. I think a little bit about just uh, the overall pace. It's kind of a different, you know, vibe. Your body and your mind's telling you it's like a normal game, but when you get out there, we obviously know it's an all-star game, so it's not you know a 10 out of 10 on the intensity scale, but it's just uh, just a different kind of you know just different kind of pace. And, um, you obviously take some shots that are a little bit more, probably more aggressive along the way throughout the course of the game than you probably would in a normal game, but um, same confidence really, and uh, just try to just make a best situation. So I don't really look too much into it. Chris, come on. Of course, I guess yes, we had Stephanie. A lot of your other peers who are not all stars already, you know, been on the break for a while now. You guys, all stars. I know you had numerous obligations over over the weekend. Do you feel like you'll be able to go into the second half refreshed? And if not, be able to get you know get you know, get your body first before the next. For sure, I think uh, that's kind of a double-edged sword of, of being an all star. Um, it's an amazing accomplishment, amazing honor. Uh, but yeah, if you're thinking about it, the perspective of getting rest and really taking advantage of the full, you know, slate of all-star break, uh, you know, it doesn't really start for us until right now. So a little bit of it's just having a mindfulness of, you know, what you need to do to get your body right, get off your feet, um, not run yourself, you know, to exhaustion 
throughout the course of All-Star Weekend and then take advantage of these next two days that we have to get off the radar, get our minds right. Uh, that's even, I think, a big part of it too. Not, not just your body, but just get a refresh mentally to know when you get back uh, to practice on Wednesday that that's the, the, the real grind starts. And we got 20-something games before the playoffs and chasing another championship. And so um, ready to hit the ground running when we get back. Staying the back left. I'll step in and cast this from Claus Mady in Tanzania. So I don't see if I just announced the third NBA Africa game in South Africa. Do you have any plans at attending that? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, 